It's Madden NFL 23, and there's no love lost between these AFC South foes. It's the Colts and the Texans, next on EA Sports. It's the National Football League, presented by EA Sports. Today we jump right into this new season with an AFC South matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Houston Texans. Hello everyone and welcome to the start of another NFL season, joined by Charles Davis in the booth. I'm Brandon Gordon, and partner, it's always great to begin another year. To the air right away is Ryan. That's complete to John Ross. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. Play action. It's Ryan. He finds the speedster Ross. That's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. Draw play. This is Hines. Room here to run. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. On second down, right back to Hines. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Seven yards there and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Brought down on the play by the linebacker, Christian Harris. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. To throw is Ryan. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Off the edge, Jerry Hughes gets the sack. That sack backs right the court's up a bit here. Facing the third and roll. Looking to throw. Escaping the pressure right. They'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up drought by the Houston Texans. They took Derek Stingley Jr., the third, the cornerback out of LSU, and I had him as my top-rated cornerback going into the draft. And offensive guard Kenyon Green, who took him 15th in the first round out of Texas A&M, he is a people mover. And one of my favorite... And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Brandon Faison. And the Colts will take over possession here up at the 43rd. And that one is in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Ryan. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Second down, it's Taylor. And he winds up getting only a couple there. Down to the And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Now Ryan. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. 
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Finds his man. It's John Mechie. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. A first down throw for Mills. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. On second down, here's Pierce. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Here's Mills. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Pierce now up the middle. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, here's Mills. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Mills to throw for it on fourth. Now he'll throw deep left side. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. I'm out when you do that. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the game. And Philip Dorsett holds it in. And he is going to have a Texans first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Mills to throw it. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. The DeForest Buckner using those big hands and getting in there and bringing him down for the sack. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Mills now. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. Give him 19 on the play, but they will still come up a bit short. And now it's fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. And that fourth down decision, unconventional but effective. And they indeed come up now with a first and ten, a fresh set of downs. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And they'll go right back to Pierce. And he'll get about three up close to the 35. The Texans on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Man, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion. Uh, give to Pierce. They find some open field here. 
And he will finally be taken down, but not the second and ten. Working out of the gun, Mills. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the top opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and ten. And, and Pierce gets it again on second down. And he'll take this one. Yes, let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. A very nice job. Mills to the sideline, and out now is Kaimi Fairbairn for the Houston field goal try. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good, and this will stay a one. So you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now... This is Hines. Looking for thus far. This is third and ten. Here's Ryan. He'll check this down to Hines. And he gets this to the other side of midfield. Across. On first down, Ryan. Looking left. And there's another example, another incompletion. Oh, and that one well 30. Here's Ryan. And this will be, you know, he's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those those two. Yeah, and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. All start. Third and six after the false start. Ryan. And this is going to be end of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day. It's got to be priority one. Mills from the gun on third down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to be taken down about the 33. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Mills, Mechie hauls it in. First half of play. Mills to the sideline, and out now is Kaimi Fairbairn for the Houston field goal try. Uh, this has neither the distance nor the accuracy. It's no good, and they'll be unable to build here onto their five-point lead. So it's a... From midfield now, here's Ryan. And a throw for Pittman is intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And the Texans win. First from Dallas, 8.20 Eastern. Then tomorrow, Monday night, just one game here in week one this year. Seattle, coincidence? We'll let you decide. Mills throw, take it in there. 21 and his sixth 1,000-yard season in the last seven years. No surprise there that they were looking for him to pick up a first down, and he gets it done. First and 10 at the 47. A, a run for Pierce out of the gun. And he picks up a third down. From the shotgun, it's Mills. Open man is Mechie, and he's got him. And he gets his to throw, Mills. Repeat of the last play, going to Mechie. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this one incomplete. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield. And look at it, third and ten. Again, it's Mills. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sank in there and bury him behind the line. And he missed it. That was neither far enough. It wasn't even on target. It's no good, and they'll be unable to build here onto their first four down. Now here's Roberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. And no return here. Where Texans? 
And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send down the field goal behind the line. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Throwing, Mills. This is caught, it's Cooks. And they'll throw again, here's Mills. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And they'll get in. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. Mills now. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. Here's Pierce, diving for the end. Play action, Ryan. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. An eligible receiver downfield. puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand how any time you lose possession of the ball, yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back. Now let's make this simple. This is caught inside the 15. And he's first and goal all the way down at the 10. A first down throw for Mills. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Jordan. He'll get all back. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the at the 42-yard line? First and ten, Taylor now. And he's got room. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor. Start on the ground here on first down. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup. Get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Uh -huh. On first and 10, Mills. He'll rifle this one deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Texan! Penalty. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Brandon Cooks trots back. On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. It's on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert. On third and nine. This one left side caught by Collins. And they win. Mills. Open man there is Collins complete. And he is going to have a Texan. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Bill Doze is passed on some more clock, and this is second and less than a yard. Mills throw taken in by Cooks. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. And all the way to the two-yard line. First and goal. They'll run here with Pierce. And he's in for the... Now Ryan on first down. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. He'll be dropped after a... Here's Ryan. Hits his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. On first and ten, it's Ryan. Open man is Ross. Ryan will throw again. Catch me. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. And that is in second and ten. Here's Ryan. They'll find a man over the middle. It's Pittman. Here's Ryan to throw. 
And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Last thing you want to see week one is your quarterback taking an unnecessary hit. I think you are exactly right about that. You hate it any week, but boy, are you on target. This and he's going to be taken down. I think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper in the territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure. And he takes this one. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Pierce now up the middle. Powers through it. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to. First down, they go right back to Pierce. No dice this go around. Now it looks like he'll throw here. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Out of the ball, and unfortunately there, it turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit him illegally. Stop him downfield the way you're supposed to. And now a throw on the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And this throw a bit late as he could not. Here we go. It's Ryan on fourth down. And that's going to be taken in by the Colts first down as the defense nowhere to be found there. A gain of 20 on fourth down. It is 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Colts! Game can't end with a defensive penalty, so they'll get one more crack. So now you get an untimed play, which should be the last one, unless it happens again and there's another defensive penalty. Now one final throw.